do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this video and especially if you're new to the channel man I have some great news for you guys man some great news it I came across this that says uh, WBC orders Luke Campbell and Ryan Garcia to fight for the interim lightweight title now apparently J uh, JVR Fortuna opted to face Jorge Linares and because Campbell and Garcia are both are ranked second and third by the, the by the WBC uh, I guess they ordered them to fight for the interim lightweight title I guess the interim li uh, WBC lightweight title is on uh, and I'm so excited for that you know why because Ryan Garcia needs to have his first step up you know a lot of people are looking at Ryan Garcia as you know he might be a future uh, champion a future contender a future something in boxing um, and he posted on, on his Twitter account he posted I'm finally getting ready to fight a southpaw my favorite fighters to fight bring it on Luke Campbell now Luke Campbell is hands down the best guy Ryan Garcia is gonna fight Luke Campbell's tough. You know, he's been in there with Jorge Linares. I covered that fight years ago. He's, he fought Vasily Lomachenko. He lost to, I believe, Ivan Mendy a few years ago with his first loss. Uh, so, Luke Campbell is a guy who's been there for a long time. And he's proven, although he he um, lost to those guys. He lost to Jorge Linares. He lost to Vasily Lomachenko. He's always been very durable. Um... And this is the and he's a big dude. Uh, Luke Campbell is not no small, uh, no small fighter. He's he's probably the same height as Ryan Garcia or possibly taller. Uh, this just excites me because Ryan Garcia is supposed to be this. A lot of people are saying that he's supposed to be the next big thing. Um, but, you know, you don't know with these dudes unless they start fighting top opposition. So I'm actually really hyped that he's going to be facing Ryan Garcia. For some reason, I, I, I'm I seeing like his Twitter replies, Ryan Garcia's Twitter replies. And people are acting like he's going to pull out of the fight. People are like writing comments like, don't pull out the fight. Don't pull out the fight, Ryan Garcia. Oh, Ryan Garcia is probably going to make up an, an excuse and pull out the fight. So I'm I'm assuming some people just feel that Ryan Garcia maybe doesn't want to fight uh, Luke Campbell. Why wouldn't he? You know, he's in his prime. He's young. When you are a young fighter, normally that's when you want to challenge yourself because you are at your hungriest when you are young. You know, when you're young and especially when you're unbeaten like Ryan Garcia, you feel that nobody could beat you. You feel that you want, you want to test yourself. You want to challenge yourself. That's when fighters are more willing to fight each other when they are young they start ducking dudes when they're older when they've gotten more uh when they start when they start having like these big payday fights that's when they start ducking dudes that's when they start overpricing you know outpricing themselves and, and, and saying stuff like uh he's not a big draw i i mean look at how much how much money i'm making look at how much people i bring into seats i'm a pay-per-view this pay-per-view that that's when fighters uh start quote unquote ducking or avoiding dudes when they start becoming uh when they've when they basically already made it when they're champions. So I don't think I don't think for a second that Ryan Garcia would pull will basically pull out this fight because he's quote unquote afraid to fight Luke Campbell. I think because he's a young guy, uh he wants to challenge himself, you know, and he's probably excited because he I mean, he puts on his Twitter, I can't wait to fight this dude because he knows I I'm pretty sure he sees comments. He knows that people don't really know how good he, he actually is right he knows people you know people that's the thing about ryan garcia he's like an open question mark people don't know how good he is this fight would would prove a a lot it you know it would show us a lot um i i i would imagine uh, luke campbell will be the favorite as he should because he has way more experience but this is why i'm excited for this fight because i don't know what's going to happen although i would probably be leaning toward luke campbell I don't know. Sometimes in these fights, when when a young guy fights a guy like Luke Campbell, his first test, two things either happen: either a, uh, he gets exposed and he gets beat up, and you realize, okay, this guy's not as good as people thought, or b, he shines. He he shines, and, and you're like, oh shit, he's actually better than we thought. You know, this happens in several boxers' career. I remember when Andre Ward was gonna fight Mikael Kester. Andre Ward was a was a question mark. Nobody knew how good he was, and then he fights Miguel Kester and he really dominates him. And I was like, wow, 
it showed me that Andre Ward was the real deal, you know, and that's why I like these fights because they show you if these guys are the real deal. So I really hope this fight actually happens. It, it says the WBC has ordered them to fight. Um, but I, I'm actually hyped for this fight. Um, I do follow the lower weight, weight divisions. I know I mostly talk about higher weight divisions, but obviously I do follow the whole of boxing. I I don't just I, I tend to cover the most the, the bigger guys, but I'm hyped for this fight. I think Luke Campbell is a a guy that would show me so much. How is this is gonna show me what level? Uh, what's his name is? Uh, Ryan Garcia, King Garcia, he calls himself is, uh, because right now, Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney, both of these dudes, uh, Shakur Stevenson, all three of these dudes, Shakur Stevenson, Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia, all these guys are people look at as they might be the future of boxing, but all these guys have one thing in common, they're all, they're all a question mark, none of them have fought guys that have shown me that, okay, these guys actually belong at world level, none of them. Uh, so if Ryan Garcia, in fact, does fight Luke Campbell, he would be the first guy out of Devin Haney and Shakur Stevenson that has actually stepped up and is fighting a guy who's actually ranked, a guy that I actually know, a guy that is a proven contender. Uh, Luke Campbell has always shown a lot of heart. Um, I do think he lacks in skills, and that's why he comes up short against guys like Vasily Lomachenko, Jorge Linares, but he always tries his best. You know, He's one of those guys where he tries his best and he's a big dude. He's a tall, skinny dude, uh, but he's a worthy opponent. I, I'm, I just, I'm actually really stoked for this fight. What do you guys think of this fight? Let me know in the comment section below. Are you guys excited for Ryan Garcia versus Luke Campbell? The way I am. Uh, let me know in the comment section below of this video. And uh, thanks for watching, man. I'm out. Peace.